Just days after CS George Magoha announced the disruption of this year's education calendar, sociologists avert that it is time for parents to take up the role of teachers and impart important life skills. Marianne Nyambura spent time with two families whose children will have to spend the rest of the year at home ahead of the anticipated opening of schools in January next year. On Tuesday, the Ministry of Education declared the 2020 academic calendar lost given that the COVID-19 curve is still on the rise. But just how will the children and parents navigate through the murky waters, bearing in mind that the children will have to stay home for the next six months? Susan Wambogo is a mother of two. She finds herself at crossroads. Her firstborn daughter, Melanie, was to sit her KCP exam this year and required extra attention while studying. On the other hand, her grade two daughter, Shalin, requires more time to grasp the basics. You mostly concentrate on your candidate. I'm a grade two. I'm a sauki like it. You're the next year to make a candidate. I'm a candidate. I'm a uniforms. Even in Malizana, but in at the start, the beginning of the year, it a bidi ni rudi tena kubai uniforms. Either atakuwa merefuka zaidi, atakuwa me add weight. Izo ni cost si kwa ni metarajia. As Melanie studies for one of her favorite subjects, she is unsettled. Like many other students in the country, she will have to restart her academic year in 2021. Susan narrates how explaining this to her children has proven to be a daunting task. speech Magoha and react alikuwa down sana. Kuna exam watu natumiwa. But after your speech, mbaka exam saa ni kama na mlazimisha kufanya. I korona imekuja, saa tabidi turudia, lakini mtu anaboeka kukaa home. Juu, juu kila saa ukisoma, watoto neza kuja nze kuchezea po inje kwa kudistract. Zingine ni ngumu juu atu kwa tumefunzwa. In West Coast Estate, Nakuru, we meet Mary Musonye. She's also a mother of two. Every morning, she is tasked with ensuring that her son, Robert Tevez, a classics pupil, spends at least two hours studying before she leaves for work. She counts herself lucky to have a daughter who is in campus, who steps in while she's away. Six months ahead of us as parents, to be honest, is a long way being with the children in the house for a total of around nine months. I've been relying on my daughter to help me out on his homework. But if my daughter is going to open school by September, I have to incur an extra cost of finding someone who can take care of my son when I, I'm out there hustling. Susan, Mary and many other parents continue to worry about the well-being of their children during this pandemic. However, Agatha Momo, a psychologist, says parents should take up the challenge positively and spend quality time with their children. First of all, create a rapport with your child. Communicate, understand the feelings of this child. Get to know what they are going through, how they are taking this uh, whole situation of the, the, the corona uh, pandemic. Engage in activities with them, such as uh, making a kite. Parents are also urged to speak to their children about the reality facing them amidst the COVID-19 pandemic to help avoid cases of depression. Miriam Nyambura, Citizen TV, Nakuru.